My name is Keith Cornett. You are in the CorvetteBlogger.com garage. I'd like to talk first about the Corvette ZR1. Uh, of course, you know the information and photos were released last month with uh, much fanfare and uh, a little bit of embargo jumping by uh, some of the, the magazines and uh, blog sites, but we held true, GM. Don't ever forget that. Uh, George, one of my favorite commenters on the site, uh, emailed me and said, take a look at the steering wheel. So we pulled it up on the, uh, the press photos, and sure enough, look at the left-hand side. There's an extra set of buttons there. Uh, don't know what those are for, and they're definitely not there on the 2008. Uh, the second one is the GM Mark of Excellence button that actually appears on the sides of the car. It is also missing from these pre-production models. I uh, don't know if it's being phased out or if it's just because it's a pre-production and it will be there on the full retail version uh, you know, later in the year. So those are two pieces of information we'll keep our eye on. And of course, if you have anything else you see, feel free to email us at CorvetteBlogger.com. It's interesting how we got bombarded last month with information about first the Corvette ZR1 and then the dual pace cars that will be pacing the uh, Indianapolis 500 uh, this May. I'd um, like to maybe make an observation or uh, maybe go off on a little bit of a rant about uh, Emerson Fittipaldi having a signature on this car. You know, Ron Fellows last year deserved to have a signature. Spent 10 years in Corvette racing, uh, won the first races with the car. Um, really established the, the program into the dominant uh, force that it is today. Uh, Ron Fellows deserved his signature on his signature car. But Emerson Fittipaldi, sure he was a two-time winner, he's driving this pace car, but just to now have his signature on, I, I could think of a whole lot of other people that I'd rather have see signature editions. And I think that if you look at the uh, National Corvette Museum's Hall of Fame, you would see that there's a lot of names that say, why not this and why not that. Um, but a signature edition, you know, I, I, I really hope that GM doesn't decide we, we're doing this every year. Because um, I think it'll cheapen the brand and it'll um, have less of an impact on somebody like Ron Fellows that deserves a signature. Whereas somebody like Emerson Fittipaldi, eh, you know, take it or leave it. One of our favorite websites that we like to visit is uh, Rick Conti's uh, CorvetteConti.com. Uh, Rick has a lot of fun and uh, displays a lot of enthusiasm uh, selling new Corvettes. And, uh, but I think one of Rick's strengths is really uh, getting inside and finding out what's coming out on new Corvette models. Rick had such a post on the first of this month uh, calling for machine silver to be phased out. Uh, that's 67U as an RPO. And uh, in its place will be the cyber gray color, which we saw on the pre production model, the 2009 Corvette ZR1 photos. Um, another color, which will be the ninth this year for 2009, will be uh, blade silver. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a variation of silver, but different from the machine silver. Um, that's being phased out. So two new colors coming for 2009. Um, Rick also calls for uh, a couple wheel changes. Um, we'll wait to see what happens with those. Uh, it appears every year, you know, either one's chrome or one's polished or, you know, one's here and one's there. So we'll just have to wait and see what's going on with that. Um, but a leather wrap option uh, that's all black uh, appears to be in the works as well. And finally, after months of being sold out everywhere, it appears that uh, Nolan Adams Corvette Restoration and Technical Guides are back on shelves um, after a reprint was done of the, the, the guide. Um, the, the book is fantastic. Um, I, I, I've been wanting one for years and I just never bit the bullet and did it. But uh, if you're into numbers or if you're restoring a C1 or a C2 Corvette, um, these books are invaluable and uh, I'm glad I finally got mine. Uh, you can get yours, any of the retailers should have them now, or you can order from Nolan Adams directly. So that wraps it up for this edition of In the Garage with CorvetteBlogger.com. I appreciate you stopping by, and uh, if you like this video and you'd like to see more of them, uh, please leave us a comment. Uh, just right down below, click on comments, and uh, type away. We read everything and respond to just about everybody. So um, again, appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you uh, next week at the NCRS Winter Regional in Kissimmee, Florida. Thank you.